Mmm, it's looking a little scary out here now. Y'all know what I do. When I when it come to when it come to things like this, man, we gotta expose it, right? Man, I'm sad. I'm ashamed because I used to be such a big. I, I was a. I was really, really big on Hami My Gear. But what's good is the one that only. But what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. Hami My Gear, his team or him, one or the other or both rejects Jenna Pick, man. Let's bring it in. Says Hami My Gear has now turned down the order. The order WBO middleweight world title fight against Jenna Beck. I, I'm, I'm not gonna pronounce his last name. The WBO has confirmed. So, I gotta talk about this. I gotta talk about this. How my gear is now turned down the order WBO middleweight world title fight against Jenna Beck. I'm disappointed, man, because, bro, again, like, I had, I had high hopes for this guy. The dude is 41 and 0 with like 30 knockouts or 31 knockouts or 32 knockouts, something like that. But my man's is, Golden Boy ain't letting this man come out to play. People knocking on his door, but Golden Boy ain't letting him come out to play. And it's getting crazy out here, bro. The crazy thing is, bro, I guarantee you, it is always happens for some reason. Every time, like, I can sit here and make a video about Jamal Charlo, or I can say something about Jamal Charlo, you hear people bash Jamal Charlo. The moment I talk about Hyman Mike Gill, somebody gonna come in and say, oh, Jamal Charlo, like, what, what Jamal Charlo gotta do with this? This is the second time Hyman Mike Gill has turned down a championship fight. While being a, a while being a contender, all right. The first time was against none other than who? Demetrius Andre. Both fighters was with the zone. All right. Jaime Mike chose not to fight Demetrius Andre. All right. Instead, was fighting like Demetri Ballard and stuff. Okay. Then here comes Jenna Beck. Wins the WBO belt. You know. The one mandatory that we we wanted to see Demetrius Andre fight, you know, that didn't happen. He calls out, he calls out Jaime Mike Well, Jaime Mike was actually ranked in the WBO to fight. So he was he was in order, in line to fight for that title belt, and it says his team rejected it. Now I don't know why they rejected it. I don't know why. I'm willing to hear it. You know, I want to hear what they have to say, but I mean, this is just ridiculous. Is it not? I mean, are we gonna ever, like, bro, it's gonna be like 2023. You know, and, and he turned down a fight with Demetrius Andre. He turned down a fight with Janovic. And you guys, for some reason, want me to believe that Charlo is the reason why he why him and, and, my, and my gear didn't fight? Mm. Can somebody go? I mean, it, it trips me out because people act like they don't. People act like they, they they can't read or just look at the art. Like it clearly states that De La Hoya pulled the plug on that fight. Not Jamal Charlo, not Showtime, not Steven Espinosa, not Al Heyman, not PBC. Jaime, De La Hoya pulled the plug on that fight, and yet people still try to spin it around as if it's on Jamal Charlo. Like, man, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's getting crazy out here for old Jaime. <sighs> I don't even think it's Jaime, bro. Like, again, I don't think, I don't think Jaime, I don't, he doesn't run me off of, as a guy that's afraid to fight. I think it's De La Hoya, bro. I think it's De La Hoya. That's what we really need to be blaming. But, you know, at the end of the day, Jaime, bro, can make those demands, bro. So, this is what I'm putting it on. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about Jaime Mangia and him turning down this opportunity. Like, comment, subscribe. But, what do I know? <laughs>